gosh, I didn't even realize, but I think this might be like the finale of the series. And I just like, I can't, there's so much cuteness and there's so much drama and there's so much fun. <laughs> You're so not ready. Now Horrid proposed to me. <laughs> Hey mom and random people on the internet watching this right now, it's Cece and welcome back to the finale of this little series of me reading my old cringy AF One Direction fanfiction. It's been a time guys! <sighs> that was a full on workout. Now what basically I didn't realize but there are just like a few little chapters left. So I think we're gonna finish the series today and we're gonna finish the One Direction story that I wrote at the age of 13 and I just like shared with you over the last few weeks. So if you aren't caught up for some reason, what is that rock called that you are living under? But also there are plenty of links down in the description to all the previous episodes and you should just like you can like binge watch the whole thing now and just like get the full experience and read the whole story with me kind of and it's gonna be fun and you can like see how much more I cringe every single episode but without further ado let's get right into it we left off after the concert thing is fine everyone is happy Harry met a girl and I'm just like happy in love with now and stuff and it's just like it's all rosy and butterflies and stuff but maybe Maybe there will be some drama going on, like some final drama. Maybe? We'll see. Let's get excited. First chapter. You're the one next to me. If I lose myself tonight, it'll be you and I. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna miss those like throwback songs for the chapter kind of titles. Fun time, guys. It was a fun time. After the boys got ready to go and we said goodbye to Chrissy and Tracy, we all went for a drink and then went back to the hotel because we were very tired. I said goodnight to everyone and went to my room with Nile. In front of my room I also said goodnight to him. I turned around when he held me back and smashed his lips on mine. I kissed back. Hmm. First chapter of the day and we're already getting demonetized. Not that I ever have been monetized or ever will be monetized. Woo, fun times! He pushed me against the wall kissing me. We stood there and I felt the time stopped. When we pulled away out of breath I asked, what was that for? He smiled. That was because you're more than perfect. You're everything to me. There are no words. I love you so much you can't imagine. Oh, I can imagine because I love you that much also, but now I have to sleep. <laughs> That was kind of mean, but that's also like me in real life. <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I'm still single, still a virgin, and still and forever alone. Good night, most loved person in the world. He smiled. Sleep well, sweet dreams, small loved person. I got ready for bed and lay down smiling. I dreamed of now and it was the best dream I ever had. And oh my gosh, this picture is like Loki kinda hot, not gonna lie. Woo, I don't even know why I shared this embarrassing story on the internet because Nile Horan still didn't slide into my DMs and that's all I ever wanted and it didn't happen after me literally embarrassing myself in front of the whole internet to see and I don't know what I got out of this. <laughs> I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Oh, best song ever. Dum, dum, dum. Saturday was George Jar Rose. It's been various episodes and I'm still not funny at all. The next morning I woke up from a message which was from now. I'll pick you up for a walk through Central Park. I smiled and stood up. I got ready and now picked me up and we hit out the hotel. It was very early and we enjoyed the time we were able to spend alone. We walked through the park hand in hand just talking about the time apart from each other. He told me about the tour and what happened so far and I told him about the time I spent with my friends. We laughed a lot and told us the weirdest stories. Nile also told me that he and Harry had spent a lot of time together. That made me very happy. They finally came along great again. I smiled at the stories Nile told me. I missed that so much. We just walked around or sat down on a park bench and ate the things Nal bought from the kiosk. <sighs> Goals. That's like all I'm asking for. Now Horan just like being my boyfriend and us eating together. That's just like, that's not too much to us. Oh, someone please kill me. <laughs> the afternoon I spent with the girls again. We just hung out and watched some movies and talked. A typical girls day. I was happy about the fact that we came along so good. We had a great laugh together and it was fun. Cute. There's also like a snowstorm going on outside. I don't know what's happening. This is filmed in March. If by the time that this is uploaded, there's still snow outside, I'm gonna be sure. Next. Next chapter. It's been a perfect day. The moon is on its way. You'll stay the night. Song on the radio. After the concert, we all got into the two tour buses. I shared the bus with Niall, Harry and Liam. We ate some of Niall's sweets and watched the movie. It was very late when we got to bed. I lay there in my bunk and couldn't fall asleep. I opened the curtain and looked around. I saw Niall smiling at me. He wasn't sleeping too. He mouthed something. I didn't understand. I looked questionary. A minute later, I received a message. Hey, little witch, meet at the front part of the bus. I nodded smiling and got up as silent as possible. Nile got up also and we went to the front part and closed the door to the sleeping area. 
We took some water and sat next to the driver. The view over the Natley streets was amazing. I lay my head on Nile's shoulder, listening to the radio and to Nile talking to the driver. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember this picture of Nile? And everyone was like wondering, oh dude, what are you doing under that blanket? Ah, the good old days. Next chapter. I feel you disappear, I'll give you all you want, don't wanna be lonely. Loki, an amazing song, would recommend checking it out. I woke up when I heard voices. She should sleep in her bed. Tomorrow will be a busy day, Harry said. And now agreed. I stretched myself. They smiled at me. Harry stood there in his underwear yawning. I stood up and walked back to my bunk and they followed me. When Harry passed across my bunk, he whispered, thanks that you brought this girl, Chrissy, I think I... I smiled at him. He mumbled something and fast got back to his bunk. I cuddled into my blankets, trying not to think that I was going to have to leave the next afternoon. In the morning, we arrived at Baltimore. Good morning, Baltimore! The whole hairspray cost, including basic Efron, is shock. We had breakfast together at a little cafe and spent the morning together hanging out at the hotel. Harry was on his phone the whole time smiling. I was so happy to see him like this. It was so cute. We all were very tired because we hadn't slept enough. After lunch, I had to pack my stuff and say goodbye. I hugged Zane and Louis and of course their girls, alias my new friends. Then Liam lifted me up laughing. Stop growing up so fast. Bye, young lady. Bye, sir, and greet that Sophia girl from me. Then I hugged Harry who whispered, Call me when you arrive, gonna miss you so much. I tussled through his locks. Nile walked me to my taxi. I hugged him very long and we kissed softly. I love you, you're my everything. Never forget that little witch, he smiled. I smiled. I love you too, my Irish potato. I got into the taxi and closed the door and waved. When I arrived at the airport, I already missed them all so badly. I knew that the next months will be hell. I missed them so hard, I cried every night. Hmm, that's so sad. Oh my gosh, saddest little chapter ever in coming. Get your tissues ready, ladies. When she was just a girl, dreamed of para, para, paradise every time she closed her eyes. My mom worried about me. She comforted me, or she at least tried to. She told me, when you were younger, you didn't care about all the gossip in kindergarten or school. You just lived in your own little world, in that little world everything was perfect. There weren't any sorrow or pain. I remember when you told me about that your life is such wonderful after your dad and me were shouting at each other. You told me that I should have my own world too, where I could be when the reality isn't like I want it to be. You explained that in your world the happiness rules over all. And when something is wrong, you just close your eyes and dream it in another way. While my mom was talking, I began to cry and wished that I could get back in my own world again. But I couldn't, and I couldn't ignore the reality. It was hard, and it wasn't easy to get through it. I just wanted to go back in my perfect dream little paradise. <laughs> Heartache. Okay, party people, this next chapter is about to blow your mind. Like, I just wanted to take a second and thank every single person that actually watched all of the videos around this series. Or even just, like, watched some of them, or just, like, watched one single one. I just, like, it made me so happy to see that everyone, like, kind of enjoyed it. And, yeah. I don't know. This chapter is all for you hopeless romantics out there and we're just like, we're gonna read it and I'm probably gonna start crying, maybe, I don't know. If you'll be mine, I'll be yours. When the boys finally had some free time, Nal visited me. He could only stay one day. When he arrived, he congratulated me on my school leaving examination. I had done it a week ago. He told me how proud he was. We went to Nando's and ate something. He said, something is wrong, isn't it? He took my hands. I thought about the last months and then I pulled away my hands and started. Now I think I can't do that anymore. Of course I love you, but there are like a thousand girls that do that too and you could have any girl. He said, any girl? That includes you. You're like the only one I want. I went on, even if I can't tell anyone about us, that's horrible. He smiled. Even if it was a sad situation because I wanted to break up, he smiled. And then he said, I know it's horrible and because of that I want to make it official. He knelt down and said, can you please eat your dessert? What? I asked when I found a ring in my ice cream. It was a little ring with a diamond star on it and Nile said, it's a star because a star is the symbol for magic and you cast a spell on me and you're my little witch and are you ready to cast a spell on me in a wedding dress? Because I promise it'll have a big buffet. I'll buy you all the food of the world if you just like marry me. So will you? I laughed and nodded and then I kissed him. It was the perfect moment. Better than every other moment we shared. It was just the two of us alone sharing this moment and this made it even more perfect. Oh my god! It happened! Now Horrid proposed to me. <laughs> tell me that this wasn't like the cutest proposal that never happened like oh my gosh guys <laughs> so we're just gonna read the last chapter of this total series right now and then we're just gonna cry happy tears but also kind of sad tears because it's over and it's just like literally like just started actually and it's just like <laughs> 
don't know if I could ever be without you, cause boy, you complete me. We're all we need. When I opened my eyes, his eyes sparkled like I've never seen before. Then he stood up and shouted through the whole restaurant. Hi, I'm Al Horan from One Direction and this is my future wife. He gave me a huge horn hug and continued silent. I knew she'd be my princess from the very first moment we met. It was at the airport in London when I saw her and I didn't know what to say. I just said shy that it was nice to meet her. It wasn't nice. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. At the plane she took my headphones and she was the first person with the same taste in music. And also she had the same taste in food. I was so nervous when she was near. She was so nice and funny and just herself. And she liked football and playing the guitar like me. And she was as lazy as me and Liam had to carry her all the time. She comforted me and when we finally kissed it was the best moment in my life. I missed her every time she was apart and I hope she won't be apart anymore. She inspired me to write a song. She was able to break my heart but she repaired it and she was always there for me. She's the most caring person in the world. She just loves her friends. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Like literally, like this is a cringy AF fan fiction, you know, but there are such cute moments. And I don't know, I'm actually like kind of proud I wrote this like at the age of 13 and not being a native speaker in English and stuff. And just, <sighs> this gets me all emotional. I smiled and continued. And she loves the best guy in the world. Without him, she wouldn't be like she is. There would be missing something. He also loved. Yes, it really is good that you've got Harry. <laughs> I mean, kind of true, not gonna lie. We left and went home. On our way, it began to rain and we danced along. I was the luckiest girl in the world. At home, I got even more luckier because the other boys, inclusive the best friend in the world, were there too. One more surprise on that freaky day. But I was sure that wouldn't be the last one I would have with these crazy boys. Whatever would happen, I was ready for it. Cause one of the things I learned from the boys is that with friends, you can get through everything with keeping a smile. Actually like so true. Oh my gosh, I was such a wise teenager. Okay guys, oh my gosh, that's it. This was the grand finale. All I can say is thank you for all the support on this little series that I did. I never really intended to actually do this and turn this into a series. I just like read the first chapters one day and you guys enjoyed it and I kept doing it and I just like I put all of this like story that I wrote back then and that I invested so much time in just like out on the internet for your guys' entertainment and although in the first few episodes it was like actually really hard for me to go through this because at the end of the day it's like really cringy let's be real but then I actually like started enjoying reading those and just like having fun with it and kind of sharing it and stuff and it's actually like kind of cute like oh my gosh I really lived in like my little pink bubble and it was the best time so you know what to do i'm gonna stop rambling but you can give this video a like if you enjoyed it and also maybe leave a comment down below on what your favorite part of the series was and just like how you enjoyed it and what you took away from it or whatever just like why you enjoyed it and if you have been like a one direction fan actually back in the day i would love to know also if you haven't already you could definitely subscribe click the bell all that good stuff and you know just let me know what you want to see from my side next and if i should do like more series Funny enough, I actually think I wrote like a shorter fan fiction about Niall Horan once, so maybe I should read that. I just like have to search through my laptop, but I'm sure I'm gonna find it, so let me know if you want me to read that and share that. Um, I think it would be fun. Also, follow my other social medias just like to stay up to date, and I always like ask you guys what you want to see and stuff over there, and just like ask for your opinion and love to connect with you guys. I'll see you in a few days, and until then, thank you for wasting your time with me today. Okay, bye! what up people i haven't really filmed the next video because i'm really 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 busy at the moment and i'm also like kind of lacking motivation for youtube because no one watches my stuff and shit <laughs> whatever i'm actually working on something though so hopefully that will be up in a few days we'll see i don't know there's just like no preview today so i'm sorry